watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Dan Ponce, Aaron McElroy, Demetrius Ivory with weather, Dean Richards with entertainment, and Marcus Lashock. This is WGN Morning News at 5. Hey, Marcus. Hey, two of my worlds are colliding today. We have tech and hair, baby. That's right, we're heading to Vernon Hills. A doctor is uh, showing off a new technology, robotic technology, to help transplant hair in balding men. We're going to tell you all about it. It's really interesting. Coming up. Good morning, morning. You know, it's something every man worries about, right? You get into your 30s, the hairline starts to maybe uh, just retreat a little bit back there. Is it a weave? Uh, yeah, well, we're going to talk about that. You know, not quite a weave, but uh, you know, a lot of men turn to hair transplants. And there's a doctor in Vernon Hills who is uh, taking that to the next level with this robotic procedure. Take a look. Don't buy wigs that come off at the wrong time. Maury's wigs don't come off. Hereditary hair loss affects nearly 50 million American men, and over the years we've heard plenty of potential solutions. The Hair Man hairpiece is easy to care for, easy to wear. But thankfully, modern technology has given us hair replacement therapy 2.0. When I started about 10 years ago, everything was doing cuts, taking big pieces of the scalp out, using stitches, staples, sewing it back up. Now we don't do that. William Yates is one of a handful of doctors using the artist, a robotic hair replacement system. And no, we're not talking about the guys from Daft Punk coming in to fit you for a wig. Artist system's revolutionary, okay? It, it's a robot that actually will scan the donor area, which is the back area of your hair, pick out the best hair that should be transplanted, and then actually core that hair all the way down to what we call the hair bulb of the root, and then we go behind that and pull that hair out and then transfer that to the front. And it does it without making a scar. It makes a tiny little one millimeter incision, so like the size, like a safety pin, or just maybe a little bit bigger than that. The procedure itself takes four to eight hours and generally costs more than $10,000, depending on the situation. But what will your hair look like after? This was when I had the consultation with the doctor. Azam Khan has had a few artist procedures over the past year. I didn't feel anything at all because in the initially they numb the head with lidocaine and um, you don't feel anything. As far as uh, the robot needle and anything, you don't feel nothing my friend. People usually they use like uh, vitamins and um, laser hair therapy and uh, special shampoos. I didn't have to do anything, no pills, no Rogaine, nothing. So this is all naturally growing and I don't have to do anything. Just shampoo regularly and then comb it. That's all it is. You can touch it, you can pull what? it. And you got some product in there? And no, no get, product, no, 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 no product, product, my friend. No product, oh, okay. my friend. Are you worried that the robot may be um, collecting information about our genetics for when they take over the world? They have more information to dominate us as a civilization. No, because I just think day to day. I just think okay, about tomorrow. Right. So I'm the only one worrying about those things. You might be. Right. You know, and good. maybe I should, but I'm okay. not. All right, so there's the information. If you're interested in learning more about the artists, uh, they're up in Vernon Hills, Dr. Yates, and that's the phone number and the uh, website there. Courtney, you asked. It's a good question. Or women, too. And yeah, men and women, uh, they do this for as well because hair loss with women is also an issue uh, as well. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah, still thank ahead. You.